All right, folks, this is Todd and Mike. We're on our way to another bee removal today. This is the second one today. We're actually headed back down to the construction site where we removed bees last week out of a uh, trailer and a swarm and the crane. They called me just this afternoon while we were on another bee removal and said that uh, they've got another swarm on the same trailer. So we uh, did a uh, extraction out of a uh, block wall today. That one was a little difficult. We had to uh, cut the block out, get the bees out of there, the comb and all that. Those bees were not too happy. We just uh, took them back to the apiary, released them in the apiary with uh, their brood. And now we're headed down to uh, Vieira to uh, remove the bees down there. So uh, we're in the, bat mo or the uh, bee mobile we call it the Batmobile, but it's the B-Mobile. We've got all our stuff and everything in here. So uh, we'll keep you updated once we get down there. We'll take some more video. Hope you're enjoying all this. It's Todd, excuse me, Todd and Mike. Hi, good afternoon, folks. It's Todd and Mike again. We're at another bee extraction, second one today. Yes, we're back at the construction site down in Vieira, Florida. They called us and said, yes, they have another swarm. They are underneath the trailer. They're on the east side of the trailer this time. So I'm just going to take a little picture, show you where we're going. Right underneath there, there's a little swarm. They're not bad, but we're going to catch them out of there. Hopefully we'll find that queen underneath there when we're under there. There's those girls. We'll get the bee back, start sucking them up up this little swarm underneath the trailer here. We're just going at it real slow here, looking for the queen if we see her. Hopefully we do. That's always important to try and catch her if we can find her. Taking it real slow, taking a few bees off at a time. Yeah, that's a drone. That's my face over there. I'm just standing over here. Yeah. Yeah. Done well, she's going to be on a comb. She's not going to be in one of these clusters. Right. It's a good size. 
It's a good size colony, yeah. Yeah. It sure is. There's a lot of bees in here. Go ahead. Alright, we're working on getting these bees vacuumed out of here. We've got some of the comb already out. And it is a very young hive, as you can see by the color of the uh, comb. But there is larvae in here and eggs. So someplace in here we gotta clean. Haven't seen her yet, but uh, we know we have a clean someplace. Whether we vacuum her up or we get her in a cage, we're gonna get her. Just working this nice and slow to get what we can out of here. A lot of the foragers are coming back. And we're getting those as they're coming back as well. They've been bringing in pollen and nectar. And pollen and nectar in uh, some of this comb. So this is another bee removal by Snyder's Hives and Honey. I hope you enjoy watching our videos. We'll always keep posting, always keep putting up uh, our videos as we do them. Again, this is our second one today. So uh, the first one was in a block wall on a house. This one's underneath what we are now calling the bee trailer. This is a construction trailer that we were at last week. And uh, obviously this hive was probably came in the day after we left. It's been here about a week to get all this comb in here. But uh, we got two swarms out of here and a colony of bees. And now we're getting this colony. So uh, this is a trailer that attracts bees.